What's up, everybody? It's your boy JD back again with another video. Y'all know what time it is. It's time to hop back in that reborn rich. So, we're about to go ahead and get into it. See what's in store for us today. But before we do, make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. We'll take support any further. Patreon link is in the description below. Also, join our Talcade membership and hit the notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a video or go live on the channel. So, let's go ahead and get into it, man. There is no doubt a good number of shares is held by the CEO and his family. You must acquire those as well in order to secure the rights to conduct business. If we could make them give up some of their cash and assets and retake those shares under Dayal Construction's name in the form of a penalty, it shouldn't be too difficult to become the rightful owner. Because the CEO can be re-elected by the board and shareholders. Right? But that means you have a lot to take care of in a little time. You must complete the acquisition process of Daya and normalize his business by June in order to commence the Mapo Media Company project with your uncle, who will be mayor of Seoul by then. <clears throat> Precisely. That's where I was hoping you'd come in. I need your help with buying that time. Time? Hmm. Dojun, time is too precious of a commodity. You can't buy that with money. You may be unable to buy extra days of the lifespan, but you can certainly buy someone's life with money. In fact, you've actually bought out the lives of many employees by offering them good wage under the name of Sun Yang. Point taken, you never cease to amaze me, Doshin. I suppose I need to start by placing a travel ban on Musong and his family. I'm sure he's already taken a good chunk of his wealth overseas. I gotta speak to the justice. A travel ban should be more than enough for now. They are ridiculous. The most evil. You talking about the most evil couple is these two. <laughs> a little to the right, Doge. He was like, uh huh. Yep. Massage. Yeah. Right. Get right there. How are you doing, Chief Prosecutor? Does he mean the one at the High Prosecutor's Office? That's what I'm saying. We can't let guys like him keep extorting money from his own company just to fill his own pockets, especially during a national economic crisis. No, yet, not yet. I think we need to prevent him from fleeing the country first. Yeah, I'll dig up a bit more before making the next move. Why don't we meet up soon? I think you deserve a fancy dinner. Does this suffice? He like, shit. I knew you had connections. I didn't know you had connections like that, though. Of course it does. Thank you so much. Make sure you find solid evidence while looking through their ledger tomorrow. Use that to file a suit against the management appropriating from the company. They'll have no choice but to surrender once they've stormed by the National Tax Service and prosecutor's office simultaneously. Surrender? I don't get what he means by surrender. What's grandfather's definition of it? Dojun? Yeah. What's the actual purpose behind the acquisition of Daya? I need a reliable construction company to work on a media company project and that's enough for now. Think of its future use later on. He's telling me to focus on what's immediately in front of me to ensure it goes as planned. Hmm. Perhaps he is right after all. I can't expect to accomplish long-term goals without taking, or without first taking care of short-term ones. In order to begin working on the project with your uncle after the election in June, you must take ownership of day of construction in the first half of the year, correct? Yeah. What will happen if the prosecution finds real evidence for extortion? And the trial process begins. It will take at least several years to retake the wealth they've accumulated unlawfully one way or another. They are construction will most likely go bankrupt in the meantime, leaving the creditors to debate what to do next. At least two years. That's how long it would take. True, time is of the essence. I saw wisdom from grandfather in order to buy that time and he just gave me the answer. Giving them an option to avoid the worst. Is your definition of making them surrender? Correct. We'll only use prosecution and tax audit to put pressure on them. They'll be forced to choose between his entire family losing everything after two years and voluntarily returning all they've illegally appropriated now. So that means, oh, so that they at least have means to start fresh outside of the country. To think grandfather is able to even suggest something like this. This is only possible if he has the power to make the prosecution begin and end their investigation precisely when he wants them to. I can't expect to have the same amount of influence even if I spend billions of dollars out of my pocket. 
Grandfather has built his solid connections over decades and has proved to be more useful than my wealth. He bribed government officials up and they sold their souls in exchange. And once they did, it gave Grandfather something he could blackmail them with. Sun Yang is where it is today. Thanks to decades of this cycle. Yep, that's what they say, man. Connections is more powerful than anything. Connections is more powerful than anything. If you got the right connections, you are set for life. You are set for life. Trust me. As long as you got those connections, you you don't even have like if you're even trying to get a job and you don't have the qualifications for said job. If you know somebody who worked there, shit, that's all you need. Majority of the time, especially if they're in a managerial position, oh shit, that's all you need. That's all you need is remember, people. In the real world, it's not about what you know, but who you know. What you know can only get you so far, but who you know will almost guarantee every single time to get you in the door. I finally realized how rash I had been when I said I can buy time with money. I work on forcing them to surrender. Can you keep piling pressure on them through the prosecution and the tax service? That depends on how you do. I'll do my best. Simple words are meaningless. Then please tell me if there's something I can do. I'll definitely take that into account. After the acquisition day out construction is over, put the people of my choice in key positions within the management. You'll need new people anyways. What? That's a huge demand. And most executives who will have a voice in the day-to-day -day operation of the business are loyal to the grandfather. Then the entire company will basically be his. You don't have many that are loyal to you yet anyways. Do you have particular people in mind for those positions? I think there's plenty of workers from Dong Su and Gudong Construction that are already bankrupt. And I was hoping to promote a few department managers to management. That would surely boost the company's morale. Oh, so you actually thought about it a lot. What do you think of this idea? Do you find it acceptable? Acceptable? Of course not. Executives of construction companies rose to their position from the bottom, having dealt with rough people and conditions. Some of them even worked in the middle of deserts. They take pride in their experience on site instead of the office and thus have guts to take adamant stances for things they believe are necessary. You can't fill key positions with people that can turn out to be disloyal. I am aware of the fact that they are used to rugged behavior. However, I was anticipating they would start thinking more politically in new positions. Could I have overestimated them? You must be wondering whether my offer is going to be beneficial or detrimental. After all, if you fill your company with my people, there's always a chance that Sun Yang will swallow it whole in the end. You're like, God damn it, he, God damn it, he read my goddamn mind. I already told you, I intend to let Sun Yang take over Dayar Construction. You, one of the most ambitious people I know, giving it up just like that? Are you honestly expecting me to believe that? Mm, I don't know, man. I don't, bro, they conversations be so intense. Grant's and Dojin's conversations be so fucking intense, man. I don't, I don't be knowing what to think half the time. I just be like, hey, I don't know who's going to win this time. I have no idea who's going to pull it out. Because they negotiating. Whew. They negotiating be too much for me. But that's it for today's video, man. Hope you guys enjoy. You did. Make sure to drop a like, sub to the channel. And let me know what you guys think about everything that happened in the comment section below. Also, you guys want to keep up with me. Twitch, Twitter, Discord links. All of that is in the description as well. And I will catch you guys next time. Peace.